Okay. Good afternoon, class. My name is Harvey Penn, and this is Technology for Teachers, and I want to teach you. I want to teach you how to use social media appropriately in the classroom. <coughs> when you think of the favorite activity for two, uh, for students, most lazy students are going to say social media because it's such a huge distraction. And like it's up, like she said, time sucking, and. Um, so they often become very distracted in the classroom. Well, most teachers don't realize they can use social media, social media to their advantage. These platforms have the power to enhance collaboration and healthy competitive spirits in the classroom. Now I want to tell you how to integrate social media. For starters, social media can increase students, increase the student collaboration. Social media can provide an avenue for students to easily contact one another regarding school projects, group assignments, on one, or for help on other, on other homework assignments. Social media can also, also encourage more students' participation. Students who do not participate regularly in class may feel like they can express their thoughts through social media. Although they, they should not be completely replaced to cl class participation, but it also helps build students' confidence and encourage them to find more ways to be active and get their voice heard and participate in class. Social media, can, social media sites can be useful for homework here. When students have questions about a class assignment, they can easily post a message and ask them if anyone can help. They can also write a specific question towards a teacher on the wall or others, so that other students can see. This also allows the whole class access to have feedback from the teacher. Social media, social media can always help parents and teachers stay in contact and all stay on the same page. True enough, pet students don't want the parents in their business because you feel me, sometimes class might get a little rough, you feel me, and it might look worse than what it really is and the parent might not see that. So it's very useful for teachers to help post on social media sites about class activities, homework assignments, or even school events. This helps teachers and parents and students stay all stay on the same page about what's going on in school. Sites like Facebook also allow teachers to easily communicate through private messages, and, private messages to parents and students without having to leave phone messages or wait for a call back. This is me elaborating on how to uh, create a Facebook group. With your class, you need to create a Facebook group and invite all your students to join. First, you have to make sure that every student in your classroom has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. You should also talk to, your, talk to the student's parents to make sure they have to approve the child getting on social media, such as Facebook. If you have the green light, then you can go, therefore, we'll start a posting and have discussion topics. Also, here goes some other ideas of ways to use Facebook in the classroom. Again, I'll say you can create a Facebook group for your class. First teachers, can, first teachers uh, should use Facebook to create class groups, groups on Facebook which have privacy settings so teachers can make a Facebook group to their classroom safe and place, a safe place to provide information. You can also document uh, class adventures. This generation loves to document every part of their lives. Mm -hmm. That's why we have Instagram, that's why we have Twitter, and that's why we have so far, so far and so on. Teachers should take advantage of the ease of documenting and sharing pictures of the classroom, such as field trips, to give other teachers advice about, I mean, to give other teachers advice and ideas on how to run the classroom. You can also use Facebook Live to provide additional help. Facebook Live is a new feature that, in, that incre has increased in the Facebook population. It's a tool that allows teachers to record videos while students may have the view May have, may have a view through the live stream or later. This is a terrific, this is a terrific way to share and record your uh, videos or lessons so that the students can watch them later on after, after school. You may also create Facebook polls. Students love taking polls and surveys, so this added Facebook feature so it makes it easy to take a poll of your students simply on, about simple things or class materials or simply for a survey. You also may provide links to important documents. Facebook groups also allows the user to upload important information that are also only accessible to the group. If a teacher has materials that students may need to keep up with all year, Facebook offers a great online storage. I know we all love Twitter. I'm going to show you how to uh, ways to use Twitter in a uh, classroom.
One way you can use it is communicate with all student and parents. Almost everyone's on Twitter nowadays. So it's perfect. It's a perfect way to stay in touch with students and parents and tweet about your homework, field trips, and what else, and share what else going on in your classroom. Another way is to connect with other classes. You can join your classroom, join your classroom with another via Twitter, let your students and use the Twitter handle to tweet back and forth with another class across the country or the world. Just use a simple hashtag. Tweet as a historic figure. Have students create a Twitter profile. Twitter profile for a person from history. Have them tweet major events in a person's life that they think are hit, that they think are fun, or their historic facts about about the historic figure. This also can show fictional characters. Also, another way to use Twitter, you can show up your classroom, live tweeting about what's going on. There's far ways to keep parents in the loop as well. It also teaches students to look back on what they're done for the school year. We also can start a Flickr project. You can organize a field trip as you take photos with their phone. Assign random hashtags, such as technology for teachers class, or class on the road, or here they have happiness, architect, hashtag sunset. Any, I mean, anything else you can find that will motivate them to take a certain type of photos. Then you can choose the best photos and post them for your Flickr profile. This profile and this project will make your students be aware that they can make meaningful contributions to the world of the internet and not just only in a in personal way. Blogging. The leverage of power blog. Setting up a blog is simple and secure. Each student is invited, and only, and only those invited can see the blog contents. By giving writing assignments in the blog comments, I mean, a blog assignments, you're not the only one having to read the assignment. Points can be given in the comments and discussion that they had on the blog. Encourage students to give and receive feedback in a manner that the teacher cannot filter and control. Also, because blogs become a bigger part of the internet, students can link and can link and use their various posts and college scholarship. I mean, college applications. That's nice. You can also host a podcast, which is using YouTube to publish our educational videos or podcasts. What we're doing now. If you don't have enough time to maintain the channel, you can also search YouTube for relevant content and plan during class. Then you can talk about it as a class. Another social media we can use is Skype. You can use uh, video conference to teach your students. Skype is just not a way, it's, it's not just a way to use with friends and family. Teachers have been using and connecting with students over the years across the world. In ways, in a way pen pals use to connect with each other. You can also use it in a large, a large group project perspective. Matching classes that are studying the same subject that you can bring to a whole other realm to the study of history or lecture or science. You can also connect with students who are working in different fields that can, and they, they can ask questions and get a real life perspective on what's going on, on what's working in the field. Yes, and this is my resources. And this is my quiz. Thank you.